Hey, how's it going? This is Mr. Hernandez, and I am going over this um, Desmos activity, finding domain and range. And I believe the most difficulty came from this last section, creating your own. And so uh, I'm going to be going over this. So um, now what I want you to think about is uh, how the X's have is the domain. And so um, what you got to identify where is one and where is three on the X axis. And then um, for the Y, you got to, you know, identify where is two and where is seven. And so now that you've identified these, you're basically uh, creating a box that goes from seven to two and from one to three in the X direction, seven to two in the Y direction. And as and basically you want to create a line or a function, <clears throat> um, any any type of function that basically hits every single one of these sides, the left side, the right side, the top side, and the bottom side. And so uh, let's look at that. So again, here's, so you want it to go to two. So here's two, um, here's, and then you want it to go from, uh, oh, actually the domain is one to three. So here's one and three. Um, and then also the range you need it to be from two to seven. So I could bring this up to two and then take this up to seven. And so notice that it is, um, let's see if it satisfies the box. So it goes from two to seven in the Y direction and it goes from one to three in the X direction. And you're basically making a, basically a box with those four directions. And so Notice that this corner is basically satisfying the hitting the top and right side of this box. This corner here is basically hitting the left and bottom side of this box. So this should be good. So it does satisfy. Okay, let's see the next one. So in the X direction, I want it to be from negative four to two. So let me just, so negative four to two in the X direction, which is here and here. And in the y direction, it's going to go from 0 to 4. So here's 0, and here's 4. So this uh, function needs to basically hit every single side of this box here. So let's see. So um, I'm going to just go all the way to negative 4. I'm going to go to 2. And then I want it to go up to 4. Now, um, now that would be good right there. Um, so it does, it does go from... Uh, negative 4 to 2 in the x direction, which is here, and then in the y direction, it is going from 0 to 4, and we see that when we create this box from those directions, um, it is hitting the this corner, which is the left and the bottom, this corner is hitting the bottom and the right, and then this right here is, is basically hitting the top. So you just want to make sure you hit all four of those corners so you could check it. It works. You could even, you know, bring this down to zero and these up to four. This one doesn't even have to go to four because I long because it because um, this one here hits the left and the top of this box. This hits the bottom of the box and then this one hits the right side of the box. So it's still hitting all four of the corners if you do that way. Oh, wait, it doesn't. Let me see. Zero to four. Oh, see, I'm looking at the bottom. See how it goes below zero? So you want it to be, oh, see that? It goes below zero. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Now that's better. Yeah. I think it was because this this uh, point was at zero, but then the part of the line um, was, not be uh, was below zero. Okay, last one. So <clears throat> when you're looking at this inequality, this says x, x is less than three. So that means it goes, it starts at three, in the x direction and it goes left forever and then in the y direction it goes up to two and down to negative four which is right here so we are pretty much going to make a box on the right side the top side and the bottom but there's really no bound you can't put a box around it going left because it goes left forever so let's try to do that okay so 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 notice that you know if I go up and down it kind of goes right forever that's where 
you know, this is kind of showing going right to it. So we want it to go left forever. So I'm going to move that. I'm going to move this to three because it needs to go from three and then left forever. And then the bottom, it should go to, to uh, negative four. So I'm going to bring that down. And then it should go all the way up to two. So I'm going to bring it up. Okay, so this is up to one. What if I go up? Now that's at two. Now that's at negative four. So just to kind of you know, visualize it. This is go from three, this is three, and it goes left forever, so that's that's good. It's just gonna continue going to the left, up and down, up and down. And then uh, this one, it goes up to two, and it goes down to negative four. So again, if we put a box going up and down, it's still in that box, it's hitting those sides, the top and bottom, and then it's on the right side of the three, and then it basically goes on, you know, forever to the left. So that should work. Let's see. All right, cool. And so, um, yeah, so this one, why all these are wrong, but why are they wrong? Okay, so let's see. Um, the domain is negative six to negative one. So here's negative six and here's negative one. So we know this is wrong because the graph is going, is not just within these two sides. It's it's actually, all this here is to the right of, of negative one. So that's why that one's wrong. Um, why is the second one wrong? Well, let's see. So here it says the domain is negative, from negative five to five. So here's negative five and here's five. And so here's the box from the left and the right side. So this is wrong for two reasons. One reason is it goes to the left of that. It, it doesn't, you know, go to negative five, it goes to negative six. But the other thing is there's a space over here. It should actually make contact with this five if, if that's the right side of the domain. So it doesn't even make contact with the right side. So that that's why that one's wrong. Okay, what else? Okay, range. This says y goes from five, which is here, and down forever, because it says y is less than five. Now it does go up to five, and that's hitting it at five, but actually it stops going down at negative five. So it doesn't actually go down five, it doesn't go down forever. That's why that one's wrong. And this one, this says from negative five, which this is good, it goes from negative five on the bottom, and up to one, so here's one. And so if we put a, uh, with the range, you know, these ranges are up and down, the top and bottom of this box. And so we see right here, this is all, uh, all this is basically where um, this function goes, you know, above uh, the, this one here. So it shouldn't go above. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's about it. And so I wanna ask you how you did, how you feel, and if you were have to, would have to do this over again, you know, would, do you think you'd do better?